C. and Klopp showed Sarifi the statue of the founder of the King of Beasts dynasty. She was impressed by the fact that the founder king and queen united all the beasts, so when C. and Klopp's told her about the special dress for the celebration of Founder's Day, she decided to go check up on the king, so as she saw him, she praised him a lot, but he got embarrassed, so he pretended to be angry. But Sarifi realized it, so the king held her in his fluffy tail, but the king told her that today is the day of revelation. So all the miasma will be removed from this land, and he will be in human form. So at night, Sarifi goes to check up on him, and they both hold hands and talk about how to handle this human form situation because it's about to be morning and he hasn't turned back into a beast. So Sarifi is worried about how he will be able to attend the founder's ceremony. But the king assured her that miasma would cover the land again, but it would take time. Meanwhile, all the beasts arrive for the ceremony, and Anubis is worried because no one could find the king, so the head of guards suggested that the king might be at a specific place, so Anubis requested to search for him, and Sarifi tried to extend the time. But every time guards tried to hold her so they could search the room she was guarding, at that moment the king grabbed the guard, and he was in full beast form. All were afraid, and asked for his forgiveness, and meanwhile everybody in the audience worried that the king hadn't arrived yet and Anubis was panicking. But at that moment the king's holy dragon arrive and all are happy, and the king comes down without a special dress, so all are worried, but the king told them a great speech about changing to live in peace, by removing the restriction of the tradition, but honoring the promise of the founder for a wealthy, peaceful kingdom after they all heard his speech, they were all saying, long live the king, and at that moment, Sarifi was mesmerized by his charm as king and wanted to stand with him as his queen. Later on, Anubis suggested Sarifi be the acting queen until the next revelation ceremony, and if she couldn't fulfill her duty, she would be sent back to the human world, or if she rejected being the queen and stayed as the king's pet, she would be allowed to be with the king. So Sarifi worried about what to do, but his familiar phoenix told her there was no need to think because she is the queen and wife of the king of beasts, so when she saw the king, she jumped towards him. While saying that she will be the acting queen, after hearing this, the king is happy a lot because now he can help her in this task as king. If you liked what you saw, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.